Buenos Aires, Buenos Aires, amigos, amigas from Hakotepec, and this is a resident, a current resident expat from Canada, from Manitoba, and I met him coming out of a, he was coming out of a store, his name is Ed, and he's going to talk a little bit about what it's like to live in Hakotepec, in Mexico for that matter, uh, you want to just say whatever you feel like saying, yeah, go ahead. Uh, Hokotepec is a beautiful city. We, uh, we've been here now for six months every year for the last five years. Wow. And we're looking to become temporals. Uh, we love the city, we love the people, and some great restaurants. Okay, so what do you like the most about Hokotepec? The fact that I can walk anywhere I want to walk. Wow, that sounds good. You're staying in good shape, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, plus the buses. If you ever wanted to catch a bus, you could catch a bus. Oh, yeah, we've done that to Ahik or Chapala. Uh -huh. yeah. so, so what made you settle on settle on Hakotepec? Were you ever in any of the other towns? And... Well, we, we started out at uh, Roca Azul, actually. Okay, and where is uh, that exactly? That, that is just outside of town here. It's an RV park and okay. uh, water park. All right. And we spent a couple of seasons there. And then some friends bought some property in Hokotepec. And uh -huh. we moved our RV here. Wow. So are you yeah. living in an RV right now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Huh? How's that? RV living good, huh? Love it. You yeah. love it. Peaceful. Quiet. quiet. Yeah, I can yeah. feel the breeze coming off the off lake, the lake. Right, right Yeah, now. we're right on the lake. Wow. Yeah. You have some uh, great views. Yes. Yeah. And it costs a living cheap too. Oh, much cheaper than Canada, that's of for course. sure. Yeah. Now the and air warmer too. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I know I'm from Michigan. Yeah. yeah. Now the RV, living in an RV, is there a payment that you have to pay per month or we we, we pay a monthly rental fee, yeah. Okay. To, it's not... to the landlord. Okay. It's not a phenomenally big amount. Yeah, but, it's a uh, good amount. Yeah. A lot but... cheaper than renting, I'd say. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, you're the first I've ever met that does the RV living out here in Adelta Bay. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. you got grandchildren out there in Canada? We, we have six grandchildren, two sons, six grandchildren. Uh -huh. yeah. You love going up there and seeing them? We, we go up there every Canadian summer for uh, for five or six months. Okay, and then come down here and, and then, stay then we home. come down here. Yeah. Okay. Now the food in Cotopec, uh, you mentioned that, because I've been to some of these restaurants and they are excellent. Right, some super good restaurants. Now, have you had a chance to go to the Cultural Museum in Central yet? Uh, we, we've been by there, Not, uh, I haven't spent much time inside. Oh, in there. We, okay. we went to the Tourist uh, Bureau in there. Wow. Yeah, uh, but uh, other than that, lately, no. we. I spent a lot of time in the in the plaza though. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. beautiful there. Yeah. Yeah, I've been through there, did some videos there too, and the cultural center uh -huh. and some of the neighborhoods over there. Right. I love it. I love oh, it. It's cultural. a beautiful city. Beautiful it city. Is. <laughs> so how many expats would you say that you're aware of live in Hakotebek? From top well, off I, the top of your head. I, I don't know very many. Not very but, many. But uh, I know you see quite a few. Uh, in in uh, in the plaza uh -huh. and uh, around behind shopping and stuff uh -huh. like that. Yeah, I did a lot of I, videos. Of I think there's a lot of uh, expats in uh, Aroca Azul, for for example. Uh huh. A lot of RVs in there that come oh. from Canada and U.S. Yeah, well, I like to go drive by to see what it's like. Yeah. Now, uh, you walk there every day. Not uh, not to Hoko. I walk to the plaza. Yes. Oh, you can. Yeah. So, or um, not to uh, Roca as well. Uh -huh. I used to. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So you get around on foot, bus. Yeah. Something. Or a truck. I have a truck here. Oh, you have a truck? Yeah. Wow. You bought yeah. that here? Or? No, no. I brought it. Uh, I towed it behind the motorhome. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great, great. You're a real uh, traveling man. <laughs> yeah, we try to be. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, there was something else I was going to ask you. You've been out in the, through the neighborhoods of Cotepec. I have. I've done. Some I've, I've walked around. I, I would say that probably 
uh, on this side of the plaza, I've been down pretty well every street. Yeah, wow. I walk over to the Tiangas every Thursday. You're my kind of guy. Yeah, Because I, I love, love walking. Same here. Yeah. In January, I walked 77 kilometers. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's good. That's a it's lot of miles. Shape. Yeah. Yeah. And then you, you feel more in touch with it. Like, I know when I drive, it's beautiful. Yeah. Like, I can drive down here, look at the lake, look at the mountains, go through the towns. But on foot, it's a whole different thing being in the community you're in touch yeah you're yeah and more, more, you meet the people touch. walking yeah and, yeah you know, yes, and that's the people what are was... friendly they're very responsive yeah. yeah great people okay um do you have a favorite restaurant in Hakota back or just quite a few right across the street okay i'm gonna take Renee a look marisco's oh really let me uh, get the camera over there okay. watch it hang on and there it is there's his favorite Restaurant right there in Coach Peck. Great seafood. Great seafood. And you were out in the store too, the small yeah. tienda. And... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, bought some beer. Okay. Hot wow. weather, need beer. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else you'd like to say? Uh... No, we're about ready to start heading home again, but uh, we'll be back next next fall. Okay. Now, what month do you head back? You're usually at beginning of April. Beginning of April. A lot yeah. of people get when a lot of people go back. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I used to be a snowbird like you. I'm oh, yeah. a resident, but you're gonna get your residency in. Yep. Yeah. And we don't know yet whether we'll move permanent or keep on with the six month. Yeah. It just makes it easier for crossing. Yeah, the you got time, yeah. 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 You can do all that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna ask right. anything else before we close this. No, I think that's just Telling people you, it's yeah. a good it's a great living. place if you're coming to visit. Come on down. Okay, it's a great place to live. Look at the bus, yeah. it's right there. Yeah. Tons of, I'd be used to if I had cars, I had a car, and uh -huh. then I sold my other car, and I got this car you're standing by. I just ate the buses out here. Love it, absolutely yeah. love it. Oh, yeah. Good up to the great. Malacan. Good, uh, good service and buses and everything. Oh, yeah. well, I want to say thank you for telling people what it's like to live in Hakota back. You're I very did, welcome. And I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for uh, doing this again. You're welcome. Okay. Gracias. <laughs>